All right, we're gonna install this vanity. We got it in the place. These come with adjustable legs on it. So <coughs> we got it pretty level. Um, got it back to the wall. And now we're gonna screw it back to the wall. You don't have to go crazy. This thing weighs a million pounds, so we're not gonna go crazy with screws here. We'll put like two of them in. Um, but once everything's level, it's in place, then you can look for your stud. I know there's always a stud on one of the, on either side of the outlet. I found it here. Um, I even screwed a little screw into the wall right here because a backsplash or backsplashes don't go up there, so you don't have to worry about holes in your walls here. I found a stud. Um, this one I'm just gonna eyeball because it's hard to get a measurement, but you kind of want to get a measurement of your wall to where that stud is, and then you know you can transfer it. This thing in the middle is kind of hard to transfer it. Um, if you want me to show you, we'll go from the wall to the center of that screw is 31, and then we'll come down here. We'll go to the edge of here, so 25 and a quarter minus 31 is six and five and three quarters. So we'll make a mark in here at five and three quarters. We got our mark there. And then I have a pilot bit, uh, slightly smaller than the actual screw itself. And I'll try to get this drill in here. Pilot bit the hole first so you don't mess up the cabinet too much. We got our pilot bit. We're gonna grab our screw now. Nailed a nail plate. I hope I didn't drill through the nail plate with the. Uh... So there's water lines running through this wall. So right there, I nail plated before, thank God, and I just hit a nail plate. Hopefully my drill bit didn't go through the nail plate, but so we'll come up a little bit. Seems like I'm hitting the nail plate again. Third time's gonna be a charm. That felt pretty good. Nice screw in there. Nice and solid. We'll probably put one more screw in somewhere um, and then we'll go on to the backsplash. All right, we're getting ready to install our backsplash. <clears throat> when you have a painted surface, you, you can't use 100% silicone. It won't really stick too well. So use some kind of um, whatever liquid, you- Liquid nails. Liquid whatever you want to use. Construction adhesive. I mean, this is just what I had, so that's what I'm using. Um, we'll put that on the back side of the wall and then we'll run a piece of silicone right here in case so water doesn't get underneath there so we'll actually do it on here maybe our lives a little bit easier put a couple dots you don't have to go crazy the thing ain't really moving too far so um do that and then run your nice bead of silly on top on the actual unit itself And then you kind of got one shot to do it. I mean, not one shot, but kind of want to make your, sure you're somewhat centered when you do it. And that's us. Now I don't really have to silicone the bottom edge of this because I just silicone the back side of it. Um, if you're nervous about it or you're having trouble with sticking, throw a piece of cardboard or a piece of pipe or a piece of two by four, whatever, and wedge it in between here and there to keep it nice and tight. But I'm pretty happy how that stuck. So we'll go with that. Make sure there's no silicone anywhere. It's hard to see sometimes. And that's installing the backsplash.